Hey there, thanks for tuning into Duck Bricks. I'm Chris, and as the month of January comes to a close, I wanted to take a look back and see what are the top 10 best and most useful brand new LEGO elements introduced on January 1st, 2024 for the first half of this year. Now, every single year, LEGO introduces a ton of brand new pieces, but before we get into this list, I do just want to give a few qualifications and rules. I will not be counting any recolors, no matter how exciting they are, like the brand new brown Bionicle sockets, just because that if I counted recolors, this list would probably be three or four times as long. And so I have limited myself to only new molds. And I also have not included any minifigure specific components with one exception, because I feel like there are already so many new useful minifig components. It's really hard to list them. And so I really tried to take a look at all of the new pieces from a functional perspective and see what are the different uses that you can use to integrate them in your own builds. And now without further ado, let's jump right into the list and special thanks to New Elementary, one of my favorite LEGO websites ever, for compiling a list of all of these brand new elements and providing a lot of really good ideas on ways that you can use them. So they're linked in the description below. I highly recommend you check them out. But now let's go on over to the list. Okay, so I know I said that we weren't going to be covering any minifigure parts here, but I did have to make one exception. And that is because this piece is so strange. At number 10, we have officially called Minifig Neckwear Cape, which honestly doesn't really describe it that well. Part ID 5022, it comes in dark blue in set number 21257, the Devourer Showdown from LEGO Minecraft. Now this is meant to represent a Minecraft cape, but the reason why I find this part so interesting is that I feel like there are so many different applications to where you can use the part itself that it doesn't really feel like just a minifigure element to me, but you can really just do all sorts of different things with it. Now the length of the cape itself is around four studs in length, so once you put it on top of something, it does fully go down at four studs, but this part is really interesting and it almost feels like it's not quite within system. When you compare it to other minifigure neck brackets, it's a little bit wider and a little bit longer than them, and there isn't really any obvious attachment point to where you can actually attach the rest of the piece to, somewhat similar to the minifigure vest that we got back in the day that wrapped around both sides of the minifigure body. For me personally, this feels like a really interesting element to plug gaps and holes, especially in small mechs or Lego Bionicle style builds. If you want to use it to wrap between certain limb pieces, you can use it as armor. I definitely can see a lot of really talented Machus, honestly more talented Machus than me, trying to come up with useful ways for this piece, and I just wanted to highlight it because it is a really interesting new mold that I'm really excited to see what people will do with it. Moving onwards to number 9, we can take a look at the next piece. This is the chain link fence 4x6. It comes in three sets, 60419 the police prison island, 60418 the police mobile crime lab, and 60417 police speedboat and crooks hideout. The part ID is 5032 and it comes in silver. Now this piece is really interesting to me because obviously it was designed to be a chain link fence, that is the original goal of the piece, but the piece itself is covered with connection points. The sides of the piece can fit clips, the pieces themselves in between the chains can fit studs, and I can definitely see this being used in all sorts of different mock applications. Whether you want it to be the grills of an engine for a spaceship, or even use it for just mechanical detail or all sorts of different functional designs as well to allow, again, clips to be attached from one side to another, I can foresee a lot of really good usages of a piece like this, which is why I wanted to showcase it as number nine, just because of the sheer amount of different connection points you can actually get out of this one piece. But with that, we can move on to number eight. Number eight, we have the very complicated name of panel six by five by three and a third curved top. Now this comes in a number of different colors. It comes with white in 60433 Modular Space Station, as well as Trans Black in the same set, as well as 60434 Space Base and Rocket Launchpad, 60432 Command Rover and Crane Loader. It also comes in Trans Clear in Heart Lake City Hospital 42621, and Trans Purple in 42605 Mars Space Base and Rocket. Overall, this is kind of a truncated piece of a very old type of panel that we used to get for LEGO Paradisa. This is basically that exact same piece, but truncated. Instead of having a 2x6 stud top, it's just 1x6, and they've completely omitted the very large, kind of vertical, straight, clear element, which allows this to be one of the more compact, rounded elements that you can get, while still keeping parity from the original panel. This image, provided by New Elementary, is really useful in showcasing just how similar these two elements 
elements are to each other, they basically just took the old element and chopped it up, making this one of the most useful new window pieces they've introduced for LEGO, and seeing all of the different sets that already has come in at launch, I can definitely see this being one of the more useful window elements going forwards into the future, and I'm sure this won't be retired anytime soon. But with that, we can move on to number 7. And at number 7 we have Plant Fern 3x4x2, part ID 5151, and it comes in Lime, and it only comes right now in 42639 Andrea's Modern Mansion. Now this is a larger version of the Fern element introduced for the Lord of the Rings Rivendell set last year, and I feel like having more diversity in LEGO leaf elements is always a major, major benefit. I love it when LEGO makes these new specialized leaf pieces, especially because we've been constrained to the usual old ones for a while, and it's cool to get a double-sized version of this larger fern to allow it to just add on to jungle scenes for forest scenes, and it makes sense to just be able to make palm trees from it, or jungle areas, or just to use it alongside the original fern piece to be actually able to flesh out your foliage even more. The really cool thing about this piece is that there actually is a little bit of a cutout in the center of the bottom of the piece, allowing you to stick an axle or a bar in the center, which is really useful when you want to actually make strong palm trees. That piece is really going to come in handy to allow you to stick axles directly through whatever piece you want to sandwich these pieces together. But moving on from that, we have yet another foliage piece for number 6 that is Plant Leaves Stacked 4x5x1 by by and 2 thirds. Now it comes in three different colors, lavender, in set number 42620, Ollie and Paisley's Family Homes, Flame Yellowish Orange, or Keto Orange, in 42601, Hamster Playground, and Bright Green in a number of sets, 42621, Heart Lake City Hospital, 30671, Aurora's Forest Playground, 42632, Farm Animal Vet Clinic, 42613, Heart Lake City Hospital Ambulance, and 42614, Vintage Fashion Store. Now this is basically an extension of the existing LEGO flower piece, but what they've done is they've basically taken the design of that smaller LEGO flower piece and extended it a ton, where you can actually see individual leaf components branching out, literally, into different foliage pieces for trees. This is a really useful piece because it's very rounded and it lets you fill up a tree a lot easier than trying to stack multiple different copies of the standard Lego leaf or flower piece. And I find this to be really useful because I feel that Lego trees are really hard to make and while people like Marcus can make amazing trees, I feel like the trees in official Lego sets are honestly sometimes a little bit lacking, especially when you just use the fully horizontal leaf pieces. So for me, this is really good to actually get a curved leaf piece, which is certainly going to come in handy. But moving onwards to number 5, we go on to a purely functional element. This is Plate Special 2x2 with horizontal T-bar underneath. It currently comes in 3 sets, 42620, Ollie and Paisley's Family Homes, 76282, Rocket and Baby Groot, and 31145, Red Dragon. And the part ID is 5066, and it comes only in dark bluish gray. And honestly, I don't see them recoloring anytime soon. Now this is a really, really useful piece because it basically provides a very compact way to securely attach bars onto your builds. The way that it works in the family home set is probably the most obvious usage of the piece itself, where you basically place a piece underneath it to allow it to lock into certain parts. I'm sure that this is going to be one of the most useful new LEGO elements, and New Elementary has already found a lot of cool different connections for it, as you can see in this image here. So overall, I'm a big fan of how they actually made this piece. I can find it very useful, especially when you want to adhere different pieces onto clips. Typically, we've been using the minifigure like Riot style shield to attach pieces onto each other in this similar manner, but this is a lot more compact and will allow for so many more things that you can do with the LEGO system, and so this is a total win for me. And coming in at number 4, we have a very unique piece that at first glance, might not actually seem that interesting, but this is legitimately one of the most functionally useful pieces, and let me explain why. You see, this is the 1x1 Technic knob wheel with axle hole 45 degree, part ID 5405. Now you might be wondering, isn't this the same as the standard axle knob gear piece that we've gotten for years and years, actually since 1998? Well here's the thing, 
the axle hole is rotated by 45 degrees. Now, why is this important? Well, this is really important for functional purposes. You can actually use it to interface with the original knob wheel to allow you to mount things at different 45 degree angles. New Elementary, yet again, has provided a very good example of the difference between these two pieces allowing you to put two axles parallel to each other while still being on the same knob wheel track. It's a very, very minor difference. It is not big whatsoever. It's probably one of the most subtle differences in a brand new LEGO Technic mold, but it's one that unlocks a ton of possibilities for Technic builders wanting to make their knob wheel systems more compact. And as somebody who's a Bionicle fan who often uses this to give my own figures friction articulation in their hands, this is a game changer because you can do so many different things with this particular piece. I am so glad that LEGO finally made it. It's a very, very niche thing, and I understand that not very many people will maybe be able to fully appreciate why this is so cool, but for me, this is amazing. And moving on from that, we have number three, and I think this one almost everyone can agree that this was really needed. You see, this is Brick Round Corner 3x3 Macaroni with two studs, part ID 5152, and it comes in two different colors, clear in 42604 Heart Lake City Shopping Mall, and white in 42639 Andrea's Modern Mansion, and 60414 Fire Station with Fire Truck. This is a piece that people have been asking for for years. We first got the 4x4 piece, which is like 19 years old. The 2x2 version was one of the first LEGO pieces ever introduced in 1955. And finally, we have gotten a piece that bridges the gap between the macaroni LEGO pieces. This is a 3x3 curve that is so useful because you can finally actually fill in different lengths of LEGO pieces. They already made the smooth tile version of this piece, and you can finally use it as an actual brick as well. I'm honestly surprised it's taken LEGO this long to give us this piece, but this is one of the most useful new pieces, and I'm sure that this is kind of going to be just a standard piece added to LEGO's inventory. I can see LEGO using it in all sorts of different applications, and it also looks really, really cool and clear. I do have to say that as well. But moving on from that, we can go on to number two, and I will admit that maybe I'm a little bit biased here with my number two pick because as somebody who grew up with Bionicle, who grew up with Exoforce and Lego buildable figures and Lego mechs, this piece is really special to me because this is Brick Special 1x2 with Rotation Joint Pin. It is part ID 4920 and only comes in white right now in the three brand new Ninjago mechs, 71808 Kai's Fire Mech, 71807 Sora's Tech Mech, and 71806 Cole's Earth Mech, although it will appear in many other mechs, I'm sure, in the future. Now, why is this piece so important? Well, the really cool thing about this piece is that this is basically a male version of the four-plate tall ratchet brick introduced in Optimus Prime last year, which was part 80431. It's one brick tall, and it has a LEGO Galador-style attachment piece sticking out of it. This is almost a direct quote from LEGO designer Neek, aka Tooth Dominoes, who spearheaded the mech design for LEGO Ninjago in 2024, and also for many, many other mechs in the past. And the really great thing about this is that this allows you to have a linear rotation when creating LEGO hinges in a very compact space. They use it primarily to be able to swap torsos onto different legs for the brand new Ninjago interchangeable mech lineup, but I can foresee so many different alternate usages of this particular piece. It is the most compact way to date to be able to allow two pieces to ratchet with each other and just unlocks thousands of different possibilities for LEGO mech builders out there it is easily one of the most exciting pieces of 2024 for me because it is very compact and it is one of the most compact LEGO Galador style hinges yet. But there is one more piece that excites me even more, and that is part number 5059. It comes in dark azure for now, and it's prosthetic hand with bar holder that only comes in one set so far, 42621 Heart Lake City Hospital. Now this is probably pretty obvious as to why this is such a cool piece, because it's basically a minifigure hand that can attach onto any sort of bar connection. 
Recoloring this in different colors, which I'm really hoping they'll do in the future, will unlock so many different possibilities for small scale LEGO mechs, small LEGO figures, and even, for whatever reason, if you want to have standalone LEGO hands on their own, I can think of a lot of applications for that even in licensed stuff, you basically just now have a standalone LEGO hand piece, which I think is one of the coolest pieces to come out of 2024. Right now it is used for a mini doll hand where basically you can attach it onto amputees or people who basically were born without a limb, but I think that the applications for this piece are way more than just that, because this can be one of the most ubiquitous pieces in LEGO. They specifically didn't curve it up like a minifigure hand, so you can kind of use it for any different application up or down, which I do appreciate, and it just feels like one of the most useful pieces. I love building small details, greebly bits and pieces like that, and so getting a hand piece on a standard bar connector is so useful, and I cannot wait to see what other colors LEGO will do this in. And with that, we have summed up our list of my top 10 most useful new 2024 LEGO pieces. Again, special thanks to New Elementary, one of my favorite LEGO blogs ever that really just goes in depth into all of the new pieces coming in any sort of LEGO set. If you want to see all of the new pieces and not just these ones, you can check out the link in the description below where you can read their article on every single new mold and recolor introduced in January 2024. Spoiler alert, there's a lot of them, and it was really difficult for me to have to crack down on what my just 10 favorite ones were because there's a lot of new pieces that have come out this year and I am so excited for the future of what all these pieces mean for LEGO. And with that, we have summed up my top 10 favorite and most useful new LEGO pieces. I hope you enjoyed this video and thanks so much for watching. Alright, and with that we have summed up my top 10 favorite new elements introduced in the first half of 2024. Let me know down in the comments below, do you agree? Do you disagree? Are there any elements that you feel should have made the list but didn't? And are you excited to start building with these brand new pieces? I cannot wait to see what people do with some of these, especially some of the more obscure and unique ones because I'm sure there's going to be all sorts of crazy parts usages you can get out of them that I didn't even think of. And so, thank you so much for tuning in to Duck Bricks. Be sure to like and subscribe for even more LEGO news, reviews, discussion, and analyses coming your way very soon. Thanks so much, and bye for now.